Well, ever since I did my reaction to Xenovex's Final Fantasy XIV is not dying video, uh, my feed has now been inundated with so many reacts. And to the Final Fantasy XIV community, this is something that I'm glad hasn't been in my feed for a long time. It is almost memeable if it hasn't already become so, but I thought today I would sit down and put out an original piece of content. We had a really great comment on a previous video here, and I thought I would just break it down. It's a long comment, so this video might be a little bit on the longer side, but let's go ahead and dive in. Howdy, howdy, Chris, and what's going on, Workforce? Uh, Brian here, and today we're going to be diving into uh, what Dacian, hopefully I'm not butchering it, Dacian Vegas had to say, especially as it relates to Xeno, to Zeppla, to the state of Final Fantasy XIV, to feedback. And I have been a very vocal, uh, you know, like, I guess, proponent or antagonist or what have you when it comes to certain features of this game and to kind of the TLDR, not to sit here and rub salt into anybody's wounds. But one of the things I really wish the game had was a more focus on its player driven, like on a player driven economy and more focus in on gear and investment. However, those things don't work in the Yoshi P mindset that this game should be approachable and accessible and returnable. And I think his view is far better than mine, but the heart will always still want one at once. I can't change that aspect about me, but it can be complemented with other games. But this isn't what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be focusing in on some of the ideas of the quality of life that can enhance the MMO component that can enhance the social component in this uh, in this game. And that's what we're going to explore. But to set it all up, to tee it off, let's go to our comment and let's start breaking what they had to say down because I think they are nailing it in terms of player de uh, demography. Demography? De player demographics. <laughs> that, that's better. Um, but also in terms of time played with this game because so many people are at different phases and that ends up having various strong and powerful reactions from one way or the other. Now, uh, they go on to say, so Zeppla, a nine year player with four expansions under her belt is bored of Final Fantasy 14. At the, le the last leg of the expansion in the middle of the best year in gaming history. And that is one of the things. It's not just a Final Fantasy 14 thing. With all of these games as a service games right now, guys, absolutely wild. It has been insanely good. There's so many really good games. And one of the things that really is difficult for uh, several creators, several have broken out. Zeppelin has been able to do uh, other games. A lot of the community has rallied from that aspect. But... I've even gone through the financials of, <laughs> of all the numbers, like in and of itself, you're you're making sacrifices one way or the other to be a content creator in, in the, any space, but let alone the Final Fantasy XIV space. But beyond that, it says, shocking. Okay, she falls in very neatly with a long run time player demographic, which can also make her a minority group of players since Heaven's Word, which sure I'm, uh, I which I'm sure are not more than 10%. It has nothing to do with Boja or with relics or this so-called mid-core content that will apparently teach people how to DPS because it it won't. You'll still always run into it. I, I'm going to I'm going to keep pushing that the game should give you feedback. I don't care for real-time feedback, but at the end of the run, give you some stats like it does in PVP. Challenge yourself to get better like on a more personal thing you know that that's how I, I i focus that's how i approach my life it's like i'm not worried about how everybody else is doing how am i doing am i bringing my best to the game itself and that is where i go for it but um remain focused and have awareness on what the boss is doing which are skills needed since extreme and upwards now an old time mmo player like zeppola or wow players or final fantasy 11 players etc want 14 to follow the second life slash job model it won't that's why so many new mmos are dead because online play isn't special anymore there are many other tools out there to socialize and play online without grinds grinds are a thing of the past yoshi p who is the smartest person in the room knows this which is why final fantasy 14 still remains the ability to step away from this game to not have it uh, treat you as a second job is a key component to its success and based off of him 
we're seeing the industry as whole shift in this same way. That's why we talk about, and that's why you probably, if you, you've been following my content any period of time, you'll hear me talk about the, it's about the re-invitation. How do you invite people back in? How do you let them know that it's okay to step away, that they're not gonna be punished for stepping away. And then when they come back, it's going to be uh, exciting and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna be able to get into the content. The one problem that I see that Final Fantasy XIV still has is its requirement for story to be able to get into the advertised content, but maybe you disagree. It really depends on your perspective. As a veteran, I'm not so worried about it because I know that I can step in when Dawn Trail, well, when I lose the 100 pounds and when I step into Dawn Trail, that my characters are leveled up. They're ready to go and I'm gonna be showered with gear and I'm gonna be able to move forward at a lightning's pace, which I'm excited about when that day does come, especially because I'll no longer be overweight, which would be great. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. By the way, this is uh, what the original uh, or the total time play demographic probably looks like. 50% new players, the biggest group and the money maker. They pay 60 right out the gate, plus at least three to six months of subs minimum before quitting or not. All for old content and assets. Why is this game so easy? Why? Uh, well, it's the free trial getting a new, why is the free trial getting a new extension? Why is Xbox coming? Why are they investing in duty support? If you said to a new player that you are, if you said that to a new player, you are correct. Now, Zeppla wants mid-core content. Brian wants open world. And I thought I'd kind of weigh in on this because like, I really wish we would see more of an expansion of the limited because limited brings people into the open world. And yes, I do want the open world to be a part more a part of this game because it's fun for me from an asynchronous multiplayer for that to happen to see people in the open world whenever you don't it's all that's why it's like when you play with every patch you see people and it feels social and it has that connection but when you're just out and about or if you're just idling at your house it can feel very isolating very lonely and that feels weird from a as a veteran mmo player personally it's sometimes that that's where the the economy which uh, like the player driven economy in 14 is really based around uh cooking and <laughs> and uh, potions because of the raid uh, tier. Those are constantly in demand. There's a constantly being uh, driven where when you look at other aspects, they have very limited, um, you know, kind of need or demand from time to time. But that all being aside, I think if we're gonna focus in on some of the things I think 14 could do better, I think the stopping the single player and the multiplayer disconnect as you progress through ARR and forward, right? If I was a player inviting you to join me and you were starting out at level one and I'm level 90, there isn't a lot that we can do outside of me creating a new character uh, to go through and play the game. I can do a new game plus and, and semi-experience it, but whenever it comes to the single player fights, whenever it comes to certain things, even duty support, there is this, well, we either need to break apart and do this individually or, you know, or I'm just going to wait for you to do the thing. And I would love to see more social aspect, more scale when it comes to like, oh, it's, it's time for this fight. Let's go do this together. I think that could be pretty exciting overall party, uh, a party level sync, you know, kind of concept. So you're not having to you know, drop party between running from fate to fate uh, out in the game, I think would be really exciting, especially if you're helping uh, new players level and explore the world. Like all of that, I think would be a very big value. Also to be able to trade macros would be huge. Uh, just let me just give you a macro, especially if you're on PlayStation. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, here you go. Or I guess soon Xbox, which is gonna be exciting to see. The, um, that aspect alone, I think would be a real benefit, a real boon. And then you extend that into the duty support system where it's duty support is what single player minded. And it'd be really great if it had a, du a dual player or a, you know, a tri player kind of mind mindset where the game just allowed for a little bit more uh, flexibility, this, especially with cross world, open world, uh, but, you know, all the things that they've done in that case, I, you know, again, investing in that open world, I think would be great. And a part of that investment is in just you know, that ease of use, that, that, that training time, that, that ability just to play together, even if one person isn't getting optimal rewards, but they're still able to participate and have fun. And then honestly, I would extend that to allow for a quest share system in which that, let's say you're partnered up with your new friend, 
you can see what quest they're on and what their destination is because sometimes learning the maps is difficult you know like you you don't have everything unlocked and so as a as a friend you don't have to then go to google to figure out oh you're on this quest okay we need to go here you can literally see it on your map as well despite the fact that maybe you're not getting rewards at this point in time anyway um, that's my little <laughs> mini uh, mini aside. Uh, Arthur's wants a third ultimate. They all want new types of content after eight to 10 years of playing, but who knows if they will succeed or not. Very good point. Savage Dungeons is an example of something requested a long time players that fell flat. Remember the drama for Deep Dungeons? Anybody playing that? Nope. Same thing will happen with Boja. Content creators will complain again for drama value only. Does a new player care about mid-core content? Of course not. He doesn't even know how to unlock the Chocobo. 30% of players with one expansion, how many have played uh, stayed since Shadowbringers? 15% with two expansions, how many have stayed since Stormblood? 5% everyone else, how many have stayed since ARR and Heavensward? Here's Zeppla, Brian, Arthas, Zeno, Mr. Happy, Mistech, me, etc. And so, yes, this group that have played this game for so long, you know, for me, like it's been obviously since the 1.0 beta, the uh there is that aspect and that's one of the things that when we've you know talked about new players coming into the space especially from a content creator perspective it is like the the answer always is just wait till you're a veteran like just wait till you reach this point where yeah you want more and that's that's the real bummer like talking with chili talking with so many uh, people like i've heard him say this since uh since stormblood like i really i want to keep playing but there's really nothing for me to chase and that's why i think it's important that you need to take breaks it's healthy for you to take breaks you're going to enjoy things so much more when you take breaks the challenge ends up being and i think this is where and why you see this stuff in your feed all the time and this information and these discussions and these reactions and all you know is because from the content creator they you know, for those who are full-time have to survive with it, right? Like if you're not watching them, if you're not talking about them positive and negative, then they're forgotten. This business is an attention business, positive or negative, it doesn't matter. It's all about attention, having that name out there, uh, constantly, you know, on that grind. And when it comes down to Final Fantasy 14, historically, you know, uh, and maybe this is an algorithmic thing that was learned, um, you know, like you, there are these interesting, you know, and difficult lanes. And that's why like my old, my whole advice has always been, if you want to cover multiple games, uh, that are especially MMO based and because of just the nature of MMO communities for historically, it's just better to multi-channel those things and let the algorithm learn itself, figure itself out and just make it you know, peaceful the whole time that you can go around it. But anyway, I thought this was a great comment. I think this is very interesting. If you agree or disagree with anything that they were putting out or anything that I should share today i'd love to hear your thoughts as always because that's part of the fun when we talk about video games now the xbox version should be rolling out in beta pretty soon and i'm excited to go and uh, at least look into what that's going to entail and then obviously when the full release happens next year i'm excited to at least try that out uh, but my return is still hinging on obviously uh, my physicality my my family uh you know making sure that i'm taking good care of them and i'm not sacrificing uh, both my progress that I've made with my health, but also just my health overall. Because uh, it's just, you know, games are fun, but I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather have a good balance to all of it. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully, Chris, you're doing well. Happy anniversary, by the way. If you guys haven't seen him posting, he's up in Chicago. So hopefully he has a wonderful trip. And yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up. Thanks for being here. Love you, love you faces. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care.